Love reading for Cancerians, beloved angels, spirits, guides, ancestors. Thank you, Cancerian, for tuning in. All of your support on this channel is abundantly appreciated, so continue to like the video, share it, subscribe, and leave your comments. Much love to you. All right. The love reading I'm having for getting for you so far is that no matter what someone is trying, so there's someone that still wants to be with you. So the energy came out like, no matter what they're trying, the man still wants you. No matter what they do, the man still wants you. No matter what they're trying, the woman still wants you. Um, but that's what I'm getting. No matter what, the Ace of Diamonds, you're still chosen. No matter what they try to see about you, they cannot help it. But they keep like evil eyeing you, looking at you with jealousy. Hoping to discard you, hoping to disgrace, disgrace you, hoping to belittle you, hoping to break down your image in front of someone. And no matter what they try, the man still chose you. No matter what they try, the woman still is in love with you. No matter what they try, this is like um, Cinderella's story. When Cinderella's mother said, oh, she's a nobody. It's like no matter what they tried, the man still wants you. They put you in the rags. They put you in the back. They talk bad about you. They, hide, they throw you underneath the bus. They throw you underneath the bus so much. They throw you under the bus so hard every time. If I should even go further to tell you all the things that they tried, the premeditative ways they, 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 they thought of how to bag you up, wrap you up, get rid of it, tuck it away. You, you hear me? But no matter how much these people tried, karmics, you are still loved and chosen. First card. No matter how much they try, you're still beautiful, you're still attractive. People still want to get to know your name. People are still interested in you. I don't know what they were doing. If they were doing some type of a beauty magic on you. If they wanted you to smell bad. If they Look, they wanted you to, feel, to be lost. In, in codependent. They wanted you to make it seem like you are a nobody. You're out in the cold. They wanted to make it seem like you are not the type of girl or boy to settle down with. Yeah. They say like. That that girl that girl is not um wife material man. That girl she's just into the fling and swings, page of wands. That's what they try to tell people about you. That girl she's not independent. That girl she's not gonna take care of you. That boy <laughs> that boy leave his family alone. That boy don't take care of his children. That boy he doesn't take care of his mother. They try to bring you down so no one would wanna be with you, no one would believe in you. But your spirit and your ancestors are always standing with you and around, listening to these people. Watch. Yeah. You watch what's going to happen to them in time. And it's going to be seen. It's going to be exposed. Whatever is happening is going to be exposed. It's going to expose them. It's going to expose them and their deeds. It's going to expose them and their thoughts and their intentions toward you. We're going to find out why. Why it is that they felt this way about you? Why? Because competition. They were always so jealous. Jealous of you. Wanting to be with you. These people are obsessed with you. They can't stop watching you. They admire you. It's like they love and you at the same time. And they just suffer about it. They suffer because they're, what they're, their projections are returning onto them. Whatever they're saying unto you, they're saying, they're saying that it is a reflection of themselves. Yeah. They're so jealous. They're so mad. They're mad that they cannot take your place. They can't be like you. The magic is returning unto them. It's not even working. It's not even working. It's not even working. Destruction spells, glamour spells. I don't know who told these people to try it. They don't know what they got themselves into. They're going to suffer. It's going to go back to them. Like, these people need to repent. These people need to go for, 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 for take down what they did and clean up everything and go to the river and walk, talk to the river pebbles and be around the river pebbles and, and clean up them energy because they, they shouldn't have done what they did to you. They shouldn't have tried it. Some of them tried to fire you. Yeah, because they were jealous. They were bad mind. They were obsessed they wanted to be like you. They wanted to take your place. 
So they would target you. They're narcissistic people like in their vibrations, but they're getting exposed. And I feel like this is a surprise to you because you didn't realize this. You didn't know that truth, or at least you didn't want to accept that truth. Yeah, but you are ready now. You didn't. You weren't ready before to realize this truth, so that you you could make a move to save yourself, protect yourself, defend yourself. Your spirit's always been telling you. Your spirit warned you because them hurt you time and time again. These same chuckers up in here, right? Use you and abuse you and neglect you. Right? Take the messages that apply for you. These are general messages. And look at them. Your spirit always tell you, listen, this is not healthy for you. This is not what is for you. Right? And it's something you keep trusting and trusting. Yeah. Trusting and trusting. Let's move on. Yeah, we have the we have the twin flame card on the bottom of the deck. That is really nice. Someone is also moving toward you in haste. Oh my gosh, the two of cups for real. Like this is someone's intention. Someone is coming to get you. Someone is so passionate about you, intrigued, so into you. I hear butterflies. Oh, like that could be butterflies in someone's stomach. But it made me feel like a transformation. Or you may see some butterflies around you that are um, symbolic of this love connection. That is this union. And someone knows about this, the, a union that is about to take place and they wanted to make it a disunion. Someone wanted to cause a separation. There is someone that did not or does not want you to reunite or to unite with your person. Someone does not want you to mate. There is someone that is saying like they don't want you to give your love away to someone else. Right? Or, to, or this someone that may not want you to have anyone at all. But that's not going to work. This could be a parent. That is thinking that they can control you and tell you who you are to date and what you are to do. Well, the Knight of Cups. Wow. Look at how love is choosing you today. And the Ace of Swords. And I feel like the Ace of Swords is a confirmation that everything that I have been saying is so true. And the money on point. You are going to get chosen. You are probably going to get married too. Sometime in the future. Right? Elected. And it's, it, I feel like everything that happened in the past was for a reason because now this divine union is more sacred that you're going to have. It's more protected. You're not going to be having a union that can be penetrated by outside forces. It's going to be so sacred, so blessed, anointed, protected, and divine. As if this person is sent by, this is God himself. This is like God himself or sent by God himself. This is your soldier. This is your rock. This is your foundation. This is your person. Pardon me. With the fate card. This is your person to be with. This is your stability. This is the person you're building with. This is the one that, like, like I said, that God is sending in your life. So when this person show up, when they arrive, when you see how they stand up, how they look at you, how they're into you, you know that this is your person. They will never leave you. They're not going to hurt you. They're not going to betray you. This is your promise that has been kept. This is your reassurance. It is now up to you to make a commitment to vote to this person too. I will got you. I'm telling you you're getting married. This is a vow. If it is not like a physical wedding, it is a spiritual intertwinement, a spiritual bond. I vow to you too. Because I'm telling you, this person is showing up like a rock, like an angel. Like they just enter your life and they're standing in front of your face. And you know that they're sent by God. Because you know that they're not sent to leave you. They're not sent to... It's like, it's like, you know, that someone was sent <laughs> by the most high. Like, you know, that someone was sent to be with you, for you. Even if you're playing stubborn, if you're playing hard to get, this person, they're not going to fuss with you. They're not going to force you to do anything because they know that God tell them to be in your life. It was an order. So they're like, Mrs., I'm not going to leave. I'm just standing right. I'm just, I'm right here. So even if you had some type of a disconnection with this person, they're still there. I feel like that is good. Look, marriage, most high energy, sanctity, blessings all over this union. That's why I'm the, the past relationships did not work for a reason. This relationship is so sacred. It is built on something. Both of you have similar interest, right? This person speaks your language. They speak your love language. That is how you know they're made for you. It's like this person is a robot and this robot was shipped to your house 
to be with you. Imagine one of those movies and it's like, I'm here to serve you. I'm here for you. I'm not going to leave you. Sometimes you may tell this robot, I don't need you. Just stay away from it. It's, it, it's not. You're going to fall in love with this uh, person, with this robot. <laughs> You're going to start. It's not a robot. But it, I'm just saying to how it, they're designed and programmed to be for you. That's how I'm telling you. So imagine one of those movies where you're learning to love this person, to trust them because God wanted to trust somebody so much. That's why God sent this particular person. God, I feel like crying. God wants you to love and to trust. That's why God is sending somebody stable, somebody right, someone ready, someone that is yours. Oh my gosh, I'm not playing to somebody that, oh my gosh, I told you I could cry. This person is your person. You better go get your person if you know who I'm talking about, right? Listen, look at this person coming in. The four of wands is my twin flame, marriage, yin yang, connection, going out on a date, a chemistry everything is right passion synergy oh the whole when you are all together when you are both together the universe aligns for you the path is made things come together both of you oh my gosh you're you're gonna have children with this person you're gonna make youths with this person you hear me that's how I'm feeling like. And look at how they're coming toward you. There could be a competition as well with fire and water in some way. Like a Cancer Pisces Scorpio versus a Aries Leo Sagittarius. But which is the one that you choose? But this energy is also telling me there's love and there's passion here. It is something that is meant to clash together. Both of you are like... um Supreme beings as well. Because I'm, re I'm reminded of Ang and the Avatar. Tower card. Yeah, someone is miserable. Someone is hanging on. This person, like, you're about to meet this person soon because they, someone is like fed up or, or on the brink of coming toward you. Like, they've, they've, it's too, they're, it's too hard not being with you or they've been waiting for too long. You hear me? And there's also this person from your past that is miserable. If something miserable happened to you today, let's see what your advice is to pray. Pray, have spiritual guidance, have some faith, know that things are aligning divinely. Yes, because things are, things are. You, someone, you may have thought that you lost someone, like you lost your opportunity or you la lost a chance. Let's say Cinderella thought she lost a chance at her prince at the ball and he's nev she's never going to see him again. You know, since she ran away and then she you now turned back to Cinderella you know, now the magic is uh, has worn off and she felt hopeless. But lo and behold, Prince came after her. So you may have thought that something was that you made a mistake or something faltered or broke apart. But this person has your essence with them still. And they're coming to choose you. You're someone's bride. You're someone's person. And I told you, you are going to have children, fertility, productivity, growth and prosperity right here. For you. Mm -hmm. God says believe in him. This is the person that's always thinking about you. I feel like they're going to send you a message. Or they send you messages. They're waiting for you. Magician. You're breaking spells too. Cinderella was under a spell. You're breaking generational curses. You're making things right. Alright so I love you. Um, someone, someone had a curse on someone. We may che check that out in another reading. Um, so stay tuned. Thanks for supporting this channel. Over on TikTok with the same name as usual. I try to go live daily. Um, take it easy out there. Remember, continued support helps the channel, helps the, the reader. I love it and I appreciate it. Have a blessed, prosperous, abundant new year. And look at this love moving into your life. And I wish you the best. So remember to also love yourself. You've been doing really, really well. And God loves you so much. Is the vibration so very much.